I had to come on here and address this thing with Mark Lamont Hill. Now, let me give you a little bit of backstory how we even got to this point, because I didn't even think he would respond to me. But since we are here, let's get into it. Uh, Jason Black or the Black Authority posted a tweet where he was talking about how, you know, Byron Allen just bought BNC, I believe, for like twenty eight million dollars. Really, I think that that particular network should just stay in the grave where it's at. But it is what it is. If you want to resurrect a zombie, it's on you. And how Mark Lamont Hill ended up getting another job. I swear this man's resume must be so long from all the jobs that he's hopscotched through over the years because he, for some reason, can't seem to retain one for longer than five years. And he constantly goes from one place to the next. So he ended up getting hired by Byron Allen to be a part of the new BNC, whatever that's supposed to be. And. Uh, Jason Black basically put out what he said about him and then some other people, of course, responded to it. And Mark Lamont Hill responded to it as well. And I came back with this tweet. I said, I remember you saying a few years ago that trans women who are biologically born males can give birth. Now, let me just clarify something because I actually messed this tweet up. But my point actually is still going to stand in a way. I meant to say that a few years ago you said trans men could give birth. Or people who are biologically, who are men can give birth. See, even now I'm confusing myself. And then he came back and said, nope, never said that. Well, I'm going to refresh y'all memory. This is a 12 second clip that he did. Well, with an interview or a conversation he had with the Coonstress over at PragerU, where they had a brief discussion about that. But in just this 12 seconds, I want you to actually hear the words from his mouth where he says, or well, after Candace asked him can men get pregnant and listen to his responses 12 seconds i might have to play it more than one time is what i'm saying is more complicated it's a, but it's not complicated can give birth sometimes that's my answer yes and the answer that is that is crazy and this is we, we cannot <laughs> i'm gonna play it again is what i'm saying is more complicated it's a, but it's not complicated can give birth sometimes that's my answer yes and the answer that is that is crazy and this is we, we cannot okay i don't know why they bleeped out the part or they muted the part where she says men but she does say men when she says can men get pre get pregnant i don't know why they bleeped out the or muted the part where she said men but she said can men get pregnant and he literally said sometimes yes since when how that's what i'm trying to figure out how in the world is that even possible now, I want y'all to look at this right here because we're kind of playing a, a little back and uh, kind of like going around the world with this thing right here. Now, this was after the interview that he did with Candace Owens, and it, this was posted by Black Enterprises. Says, Professor Mark Lamont Hill claims in a debate that men can get pregnant July 13, 2020. He said in response, this clearly misrepresents my argument and plays into transphobia. Why do this black enterprise how sad? And this person whose name is at J Monu said, Mark, I rock with you heavy, but that's literally what you said. She asked you, can men get pregnant? Your answer is yes, some men can. You had to know headlines like this was coming, LOL. Then he said, I said trans men. No, Mark, we just heard the clip. When she asked, can men get pregnant? She didn't say trans men. She said, can men, as in biologically born XY chromosome car carrying men, get pregnant? She didn't say trans men because if she said trans men, then we know that we're talking about a person who was biologically born a female in which we know if they want to get pregnant, that's very possible. And he says, and I affirm that trans men are indeed men. But that's not the intent of this headline. It's to ridicule and den deny the legitimacy of trans identity. I'm trying to figure out what is like, Mark. What is your angle here? The reason why, like I said, the reason why I'm bringing all this up is because one, if y'all know me and have been following me for quite some time, one of my biggest pet peeves is when my intelligence is being insulted. This guy literally replied back to me under a post when I said you said I told, even though I had it a little bit wrong. But the point still stands. You said that men can get pregnant. I just played the clip in which you said yes. And you said sometimes. So, Mark, we have to ask you a question as a man. Have you ever gotten pregnant? Have you ever given birth? As a man, since apparently by your logic, that's apparently what it is. 
Now, here's one from July 15, 2022. That was about a month ago, a little over a month ago. And this is when he was t talking to Dr. Boyce Watkins. He says, mocking my comment is just an underhanded way of saying that you don't believe trans men are men. Instead of obfusc obfuscating the issue, just say that. Also, comments like this show how little you know about non-European intellectual and cultural traditions. Like he's all over the place with this. But what I thought was very interesting was this response right here from this <laughs> this account whose name is at Buck Angel, but their main name is Buck Angel Transsexual. They said, are you a trans man? Because I am. So this is a person who was bi biologically born a female and now transition into living as a man they said i refuse to play this stupid game that you all play as it is actually hurting my existence men do not get pregnant trans men can but not all of us want to be lumped in with this if you actually care then stop this is so dysphoric producing now like i said this is the person that says that, that they live that lifestyle they were born a woman but now they live as a man they know that they can get pregnant they stated it right there because they have the internal workings of that of a female that allows them to get pregnant they can you know they have a cycle they have eggs they have a womb they have fallopian tubes all the inner workings that allows a woman to carry a child that a man cannot do now here you have this person i'm not even gonna go through the comments because really they spoke the truth right here but you have Mark Lamont Hill up here claiming that men can get pregnant and then try to claim that he didn't say that. He's li like, literally, this is, has been hovering over his head for the last couple of years ever since he said it. I don't know why he even dug a hole that deep for himself to even utter those words. And it's such a shame because he actually had to say that on the platform of an individual I already don't like. And I'm not going to sit here and say that I agree with Candace Owens because it's common sense. Like she didn't have to say that for me to know that which uh, he said was a bunch of BS. But yeah, the, like I said, the only reason I'm making this video is because he insulted my intelligence and tried to say that he didn't say what he said when clearly y'all just heard for yourselves what he said. And honestly, I didn't even have to play that clip or that audio because y'all already heard it a couple years ago when he said it. This is what you call the definition of being so smart, you're dumb. This is what happens when you have a lot of these individuals who are in like high levels of academia. You think they know everything, but they really don't. Now, I want is I'm curious to know if uh, Mark Lamont Hill had any type of response to this person right here. But, you know, I said I wasn't going to go through the comments, but let me I'm going to go through the comments and see if they did if he did give a response to any of them okay so i'm scrolling through scrolling through scrolling through going down 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 just scrolling really fast and whatnot not one response from mark lamont hill combating against what this person said but mark seemingly had all the smoke for everyone else that came at his neck and i find it very interesting that the people that he had smoke for happened to be black me dr boyce watkins black enterprise who mentioned or brought this up but when it came to non-black people he didn't have a response and then this is the one he should have had the response to because this person like i said lives that lifestyle like they literally basically said that they're not playing this game with you. They said men do not get pregnant. And this, see, that, see, the thing is what Mark Lamont Hill is doing, he's playing a dangerous game. He's playing into this, I don't know, this game. I don't know if he's trying to get, garner support or whatever the case may be. But it's even scarier because there's a lot of people who are advocates for them or their allies or even some in that community who actually believe what Mark Lamont Hill is saying. I read through some of the comments. I was just scrolling through because I read through some of them before I started scrolling. Yet a lot of them that was trying to go with this person for saying that, oh, Mark has every right to say what he said. You know, why are you trying to censor him? And what it's not censor. It's fact. See, that's the thing. We live in a generation right now in a time where speaking the truth is considered uh, hate speech or censoring someone else who's speaking lies and fallacies, much like Mark Lamont Hill was doing 
and still unfortunately is continu continuing to do. And what's even more sad is that this guy is a whole university professor at Temple. You know who Mark Lamont Hill reminds me of? Remember that Kiara Bridges chick out at Berkeley that I had to do a video on when she went before Congress talking about trans men, uh, was it tra trans women can get pregnant or whatever, the, or, no, about the abortions. And then when they questioned her about it, about it and she felt her back was against the wall, she talked about you transphobic. That's literally what Mark Lamont Hill was doing. So I don't know like what his angle is. Like I said, I'm guessing he's trying to get brownie points from that community, but this is not the way to go about it. It's not genuine. You're not telling the truth. The point of the matter is, is if you were born a man and you decide to transition into being a quote unquote woman, you cannot get pregnant. If you were born a woman, and then transition into that quote unquote of a man, you can get pregnant because you have the inner workings of a woman. However, do not say or do not get pregnant and then claim that men can get pregnant. Because if I saw a quote unquote pregnant man, I'm, I'm automatically going to say that was a person who is born a woman. They just choose to live as a man. But don't go out here and saying that men can get pregnant. That is not true. It's crazy in 2022. We're still having this conversation of common sense. It's not even just relegated to science. It's common sense at the end of the day. But with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end the video on that note. Y'all let me know what you think down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. If you are new, be sure to go ahead and hit that bell to be notified whenever I upload a new video or go live. Also, be sure to have your notifications turned on for your mobile devices. The links will be down in the description. I'll talk to you in the next one.